And good morning. Welcome to Your Vote Counts. Happy Easter. All right, let's start with code name Strike Eagle. You know, Gettner Drummond is famous as a fighter pilot, and then he became attorney general, and he hit the ground running. A lot of things happening this week with the AG. Yeah, first of all, I want to say happy Easter to everyone as well. Um, while you're watching this this morning, uh, I look forward to being at Bethany First Church in Nazarene with my family here soon after. Uh, but happy Easter. Hope you have a great day. Yeah, our attorney general is doing a, a really incredible job. I think if you just step back and look from the outside in on it, what everyone seems to really uh, appreciate about our attorney general right now is he's just doing common sense things. He's taking what everyone at home is saying, well, why don't we do that, and just doing it, not worrying about all the political ramifications. And he stayed entirely clear of the culture wars. So just being a true conservative, doing conservative things, staying out of the culture wars, I think he's doing a fantastic job right now. It's because he flew strike eagles. That's why we've got the code word. All right. Your thoughts about the new attorney general and his agenda. He's getting some things off of the list. Yeah, I think General Drummond's doing a great job, and I think he's put everybody on record. He's going to call balls and strikes. That's one of the things I love about this attorney general. He recently dismissed the charge against Terry O'Donnell, but not because he said he didn't do anything wrong, because that hadn't been applied equally. I will say to the legislature, you are on notice. General Drummond has made it very clear he's going to apply those rules to everyone equally. Act right. I think he did the right thing on Glossop. I think he has moved forward in a way that we can be really proud of what our attorney general is doing in this state. And that's what we want at the end of the day. Somebody that's just going to call it the way they see it, enforce the law evenly. And that's what I think he's doing. Okay. Another thing that happened a few years ago, you were in the legislature at the time when the legislature and the governor signed the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency. Audits weren't getting it done. And now they come up with another blockbuster report, John. They have, and really Loft has been one of the things I've been most proud about in my legislative career. I got to carry the bill that created it. This is what I call the legislature's sword. We have the opportunity to go into these agencies, see what's going right, see what's going wrong. OMES, and I want to be careful, they're great, hardworking men and women in OMES, but it appears to be just too big to find a way to get these jobs done. We found about $3 billion in expenses that no one's looking at. We have got to find a way to make systemic changes inside OMES. I believe in the people. I believe in who we have there, but it's not working. And what the Loft report showed is we don't have proper safeguards for how we're spending our money. Okay, well, it's going to be interesting now. The, the, the reports come in the middle of the session, but accountability is a big deal. I know that. And your thoughts about you were there when Loft was created. Your thoughts about what's happening. Yeah, uh, former Representative Mike Jackson running Loft right now, doing a really great job from the Enid area. Um, Loft this time was looking at OMES. OMES was created not long ago as an agency uh, that would kind of oversee all agencies. Uh, it does a lot of the spending. This particular Loft report was looking at was OMES uh, paying attention to the spending they were doing and how much was going out the door. What they found was about $3 billion just didn't have a lot of oversight on it. And I think that's important for you as the taxpayer. What you want from your government is transparency and accountability. Loft was created to to make sure to ensure both of those things and really getting after a lot of these agencies that just aren't having a lot of transparency right now. Exactly. All right. When we come back, we're going to be talking about the edu education stalemate. What's happening there? When we